Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm here at the 2019 SEMA Show Las Vegas. Of course, I'm gonna stop at the Ford booth and look at this. We got a 2020 Shelby GT500, but this is like no other GT500. This is a dragon snake. Let's talk a little bit about the Shelby GT500. It's making its appearance first time back again. Really came about 1967 is the first year of the GT500. Last year was 1970. Then, of course, we had it brought back in the 2000s. Then it went away in 2014. GT350 came out with that Voodoo engine, and I'm telling you, this 2020 GT500 really is nothing but the business. 760 horsepower supercharged from the factory, and then, of course, this Dragon Snake has a lot of special elements specifically for the track. So let's go ahead and dive into this 2020 Dragon Snake GT500. You can see the design change that we went with the front end of the GT500. Love the classic headlight design with that tri-bar setup. You can see the extension of the fender flare on it. Open grille design, and then as we work our way across the front, of course, nothing more American classic than white with the blue racing stripes. Love the open grille design, that large Cobra staring at us. Front splitter, and then you'll see when we get to the side, a lot of unique modifications going on here. Now, when we get up onto the hood, that large heat extractor, also with the addition of two extra heat extractors flanking it. This is specific for the Dragon Snake. Of course, you're gonna have your hood pins with the Shelby logo on the side. And when we come around the side of the car, look at what we're talking about, wheel and tire setup. I'm loving this machined aluminum wheel, the Shelby logo just embossed right into the side of it. Really nice look with that massive Brembo caliper. Talk about a Ronald McDonald sh uh, shoe size caliper. That thing is insane. Now, as we work our way down the side, that Shelby Cobra logo, we got the GT GT500 Dragon Snake. This is meant for the drag strip. Everything else, as we work our way down the side, is gonna be what you would get from the factory. But with that extra touch, I love the way they have the Shelby name with the striping on the side. That's something that with the GT350, I wish they had that wood as an option. Um, I'm gonna have Tom kind of show you here. You can see the way the fender is really flared out, that extra aerodynamic uh, work that goes across the whole bottom portion of the sill. And then when we get to the back portion of the car, I love the way they took the Dragon Snake logo with the Cobra. Look at the rear wheel and tire setup on this thing. This thing is ready for the drag strip. 20 inch wheels, that Shelby American logo right there. Even the rear calipers are super large. Great look. And then when we swing out back, here's where there's some huge change. You can see the deck lid spoiler extension off the back, carbon fiber end plates. And then when we drop down, look at how adjustable this thing is from one side to the other. And that's gonna allow you, depending on elevation, depending on where the track's located, you might have a lot of different setup changes that you need to make. On the bottom end, it's nothing but stock rear diffuser area. Of course, you're gonna get a diff cooler and all that. That's where that's gonna be located large. These are some of the largest exhaust openings I've ever seen. They actually had to do heat treatment to the rear diffuser area because of all the heat coming off the back of this GT500. But classic look, classic design. This thing I could see ripping down the quarter mile. Now remember, GT500, they had some media days. Some drivers supposedly were getting 10.7 second quarter mile times, and that's a totally straight up stock one. This one, obviously, I'm sure there'd be some extra surprises, but if these are the types of things that you like to see on Radies Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you are new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to Muscle Car, Big Guns McGee. He's loving this thing. He wants to get behind the wheel of it. I think Ford's going to let us. So we'll see what happens with that. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.